right, survivors, welcome back to the long dark. We're picking up right where we left off here with the winter mute story mode. And we are now at the Carter Hydro Dam. We came up here to get medical supplies for Jeremiah, the trapper, right? Who has some nasty infection and he will die if we don't get these meds back to him. So let's get rolling. We have a long way to go. Now, I just came back from the dam. I know in the last episode we had spent the night there in that trailer. And that's where we faded out. But um, I actually went back to the dam to get the spare flare gun. So we now have two flare guns. And we're going to use one, hopefully, to barter with Jeremiah. Because apparently that's an item that we can use, we can give to him for um, to gain trust. Just like we did with Grey Mother, when we gave her mushrooms and so forth. And now we just gotta get these meds back to him, so here's the, the route I'm thinking of taking. We're here, well actually we're right here now. So we're gonna follow the river, all the way down to that supply cache, down to the Mystery Lake, we'll stop at the camp office, have some lunch, and then follow the train tracks down to that supply cache, and then all the way back to the Trapper's Homestead. So yeah, it's a pretty long hike. Is that, uh, do I hear something? No, okay. I thought I heard footsteps. So, yeah, we have a long way to go, and I can't sprint because we have, how much weight are we carrying right now? Like, yeah, about uh, 90 pounds, so a lot more than we can typically carry. So there's no sprinting, but at least we can walk. Oh, this is a deer. Oh, lots of deer here in the frozen river. Look at them all. Yeah, I guess this is the place to hunt the deer. There's a whole flock of them. They're flocking this way. I'm hearing lots and lots of little footsteps, but I think that's just the deer. You guys are freaking me out. Get out of here. Sounds like something's behind us. Ice isn't cracking, is it? This is pretty solid stuff. Oh, new location discovered. River, northern access. All right, I think we're on the right track. There's only one river. <laughs> You can't climb that without ropes, dude. Where's your helmet? Oh, the sun's coming out. Oh, feel that on the cheeks. Let's check the cheeks, Will. Check those cheeks. Nope, still frostbit. <laughs> I don't think the sun can help at this point. It's too late. We're gonna have to shave that frostbite right off with that uh, either sharp piece of metal we have or the ax. Maybe uh, Jeremiah can do that for us. I don't know if we have any anesthesia. We might have to get drunk for that because that's gonna hurt anywho where are we going looks like we're going under some rocks oh this is cool yeah check this out i bet in the summer you can leap off these cliffs into the water that'd be so fun yeah well maybe not that one that's kind of high and i don't know how deep this river is but you know maybe one of the, the shorter ones oh we're going right underneath this uh overhang here that's pretty cool perfect place for an ambush don't you think? I think so. <laughs> Fluffy! We know Fluffy's not in the dam anymore. He's no longer a dam wolf. Maybe he's a river wolf. I don't know. Don't really want to find out. Oh, yeah. We, we were going to check under the bridge for a body, but... I don't think there's a body there anymore. What's up, dude? Holy smokes, we're getting cold! How did I get so cold, Will? All right, we're going to have to make that camp off as fast, unless we can find some other shelter. Yeah, I was going to say, there was a body under the bridge in the old sandbox game back in the alpha days, but it's not there anymore. At least we didn't see it, so... Used to be able to find a rifle down by that body, but I think the rifle now, and well, at least in the story mode, is going to be part of the storyline. It's going to be provided by uh, some kind of a quest or something that we have to do. Oop, wrong button. I'm pressing E to pick stuff up, but that doesn't work that way. Uh, how are we doing here? Food and water. Okay, but man. I mean, it might, it might be a clear day, but it's cold. We might have to skip the cash and just get right to the camp office. Well, we've got to keep moving. Keep that blood flowing, Will. Don't want to stop for anything. I don't think we're going to go after these caches. It's just too cold. We'll come back maybe on a warmer day. We're going to have to go back to the Carter Hydro Dam anyway. That's why I left, like, the um, uh, the safe unopened. We have to go back there 
at some point in the future and we'll get the safe later. It's not like we really need supplies anyway. We've got so dang many supplies. I'm not really wanting for anything. Is that a wolf? Is that a wolf? Uh, it's coming right for us. Hi! Fluffy? <laughs> get back to your damn... Your damn wolf! Alright, reload, 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 reload. Don't forget to reload. How many shells do I have? 13. I think I reloaded both of the, the guns. Oh, what is that? It's a rope! Whew. Oh, there's no way I can climb a rope. So heavy anyway. <laughs> I hate to go the same direction the wolf went in. Oh, it's warming up! Dude! You don't learn, do ya? Oh, you're dead! Oh, headshot! <laughs> Reload! In case he has any friends. And now you're just a carcass. Look at you. Holy cow. I didn't know you could do that. What should we do to this guy? Should we grab his hide? 40 minutes. We don't have time. We're cold. The temperature's still going down. It's not going down as fast as it had been. Look at him! This is a great screenshot opportunity. Smile for the camera, Fluffy. <laughs> All right, enough fooling around. I got the photo. I wish I could take a selfie, though. Yeah, I know it's getting cold, Will. Sorry, I just wanted to get that picture. We got to get to this camp office and warm up. We'll see if we can make it. Oh, here's here's the lake. We can make it. You'd think that sun would be toasting us up right now, right? Not so much. Not so much. Yeah, we're going to duck into the camp office. Oh, new location discovered. River South Access. All right, we're there. We're going to duck into the camp office and maybe get a fire going, warm up our toes and our fingers, and then we'll move on. Now, careful here because there's a lot of wolfies about on this lake. They love this lake for some reason. Just keep doing 360s, Will. So you don't get snuck up on or flanked. So there's a fishing hut out there on the ice. Oh my gosh. Look at all the wolves up ahead. That's a pack of wolves. Let's let them disperse. We're going to have to sneak on by. Oh man. I don't know if we can make it. It's cold. We'll hide in these cattail reeds here. Yeah. They'll never see us coming. There's camp office right there. So close. How we doing? Oh boy. I think we've been spotted. Somebody's howling. We can take one, but I don't think we can take two. I wonder if I should load both guns and... Can we do this, I wonder? Let's add actions. I was going to try to add the other flare gun to the um, quick radial dial thingamabob. But I'm not sure exactly how to do that. And I don't want to be sitting here trying to figure it out. I think if we stay to the shoreline. Oh, no. Oh, he's coming right at us. Okay, let's go. Let's go for it. Oh, now they're both coming. Coming this way. They're flocking this way. Holy smokes. Cold is making my head feel thick. No worry, Will. Just keep backing up. Back away, back away. Reload. Oh, the other one ran. Can we kill this one, too? <laughs> Serves you right, Wolf. I'll be back for that guy's skin and stuff later when we warm up. Gotta get inside. Because those wolves are gonna be back. They don't run away for long. They're either brave or stupid or desperate or something. Get around that branch. I almost impaled myself. Imagine that. Surviving the wolves and the apocalypse only to impale yourself on a branch. <laughs> oh, so close. Did I reload? <gasps> Holy cow, Will. Do not forget to reload. All right. We're there. Okay, put the gun down. Let's get in. Oh. <sighs> Oh, that's so nice. Out of the wind and the cold, and we're I warming could use up. A drink. And I could use a drink too, Will. Let's find a drink. What do we got? Let's belly up to the bar. That's not a bar. Drat. All right, we'll tell you what. Let's have some fine Canadian toilet water right here. Uh, oh, or we could get a coffee going. Do we need the coffee right now? We could make something to warm up nice. Eh. Uh, 
Or we could just wait. No, you know what? Let's get the benefit of the, the, the heat and warmth and all that jazz. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to light a fire. Nine, only 90%? Well, that's interesting. All right, well, let's get it started. 90%. I thought this is usually 95, but maybe it's because I'm super cold. Hey, there's an, a hatchet right there. <laughs> I never saw that hatchet. And there's some wood right there, too. Let's put some reclaimed in there and maybe a cedar. Yeah, we're going to stay here a little bit and warm it up. Yeah, grab it. Can't hurt. Can't hurt having more, right? Oh, oh yeah. This That's pack good. is getting too heavy to carry. Nah, you'll be fine, Will. Let's make an herbal tea. I'll save the coffee for another time because it has caffeine and we might need that. Like in the middle of the night when we're trying to stay awake. Oh, gosh. Come on. Nope. That tea quick. Mmm. Delicious. Warming up and improved rest. Yeah. Okay, what else? Can we can we cook something here? Make it hot. Let's have some pork and beans. Pork and beans. Open it up. We'll warm it up on the fire. This is a great lunch. Mmm. Smell that bacon. Let's eat it. Can't wait. Where is it? Is that the one? Yeah, it's open. Oh, magnificent. It warmed us up inside, too. And now we're just a little bit thirsty. So why don't we just drink some regular old water here? All right. Feeling fantastic right now. And we have an hour and 49 minutes left in this fire. Why don't we eat one more thing? We can fit a chocolate bar in the belly. Dessert! Oh, that was a fantastic lunch. Well, I hate to be that guy, but we should probably get moving now. I mean, it's so cozy here by the fire and nice and safe inside this building. <laughs> but we really need to get back to Jeremiah and save his life. I mean, he's dying of an infection, right? So, yeah, let's get moving. Still got plenty of daylight, and let's just see how far we have to go. Not far at all. We're going to grab the, the train track, follow it down, maybe grab that supply cache if we can find it, uh, and then get over to... Um, Jeremiah, so here we go. Hello? Wolf? No wolf. And we're gonna leave that dead wolf behind. We don't really need him right now. Oh, it's warmed up outside, too. The temperatures are, uh, they're, they're stable. They're stable. We're not losing warmth, thankfully. But carrying all this stuff is making us really hungry. We're burning lots of calories carrying all this extra weight. Oh, oh, man, I thought I was being flanked. Turns out to be a deer, thankfully. This thing is loaded, right? Yes, it's loaded. And I did try to add the other flare gun to the uh, radial dial here, the quick dial, but it doesn't let you do that. You can add, like, food and water, but that's about it. There's a little checkbox that says, literally, add to dial. <laughs> but not for the flare gun, so we can only have one out at a time. It'd be awesome if we could do flare guns akimbo. Huh? That'd be sweet. One in each hand. And kill two wolves if they come at us in twos. Fortunately, they don't. At least they haven't figured that out yet, that they have an advantage. They would have the advantage. Strength in numbers and all. Alright, I'm just gonna follow the tracks to the very end. And then we'll turn to the right. Uh, I don't know, actually, we're gonna look for that, um, that cache before we get to the very end. Like I said earlier, I don't even know if we need any more supplies. We're already packed up pretty well. But it's worth a look. Alright, I think this be the place. Right? I think we've got to turn in. Is it getting cold? It's getting windy, but not too cold. Right, hold on, let's check that map again. That's the tunnel entrance. Yeah, we got to go up into this rock area, I think. Maybe between these big rocks. Well, I'm not seeing it. Is it up on top of the rocks? Can I even climb these rocks? Ah! Oh, man, see? You're carrying so much weight, you might twist an ankle. I don't know if this is worth it. For what? You know, what's in the supply box? Maybe stuff that we already have we don't need. Oh, boy. Going higher. Will, you're getting reckless. Holy cow, you don't want to fall down there. But maybe we can see the box from up here? Maybe it's up top there. 
I bet it's on this side underneath. Yep, there it is. I knew it. I spent all that time searching around on top, and it's right under. <laughs> Dang it, Will. There you are. Yeah, hidden cash. Hardly. Oh, a tinder plug. Just what I needed. So glad we came all the way over here and searched around for 45 minutes. Although the accelerant is actually really nice. <laughs> all right, bunny. Uh, I'm so tempted, but... With all the wolf attacks today, I don't think I want to waste a flare shell on a bunny rabbit. We'll come back for you later. Throw rocks at him. There's a whole bunch of rabbits over by Jeremiah's place. So we'll uh, we'll get those rabbits and make those mittens soon enough. It's all about time and resource management in the apocalypse, right? And right now we don't have the time nor the resources. They kill one lonely little bunny rabbit. You got some music. That's nice. Just over this rise. Right? Isn't that it? Yes. It's in sight. Trapper's house. Woohoo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Slow down. This is where you break a leg. <laughs> when your target's in sight. So close. And then a blizzard comes in and you die. Of, uh, of cold about three feet away from your door. Yep, that's how it works. That's how it works. Well, it looks like Jeremiah still be passed out on his bed because there's no smoke in the chimney. So, let's go revive him with these meds, hopefully. Hopefully he's not dead. I mean, I wonder if he can actually die if he don't get back here fast enough. Oh, we can search his bin? Sure. Oh, just a regular old container. I guess we can put stuff in there. That's cool. All right, let's put the gun down. We don't want to start any fires by accident, and in we go. Hey. Old guy. Hey. Uh -oh. Hey, you still with me? Oh, no. We're too late. Shit. I'm too late. That doesn't sound good. You look like crap, Jeremiah. Hey, you're still alive. Uh, what's your name? <coughs> Call me Jeremiah. I went to the dam. Found some supplies that should help. Oh, thanks. Because my insides hurt like hell. What did you find? General meds. Painkillers, antibiotics, and what looks to be some old vials of morphine. <laughs> morphine? Easy. Hopefully your pain won't get that bad. You alone out here? What's it to you? What the hell are you doing out here anyway? Hey, don't get excited. I'm just looking for someone. The only thing you should be looking for is a way to kill that bear. Bear? Uh, yeah. He'll be back soon enough. And when he is, I'll be ready. <coughs> Ready for what? You can barely sit up. Uh, that bear is a man killer. If we don't finish him off, no telling what savage fury he'll unleash. We? I, I'm just on my way through the area. That bear's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Listen, stranger. You aren't going anywhere. Like it or not, you and me have a problem in common. Neither of us is going to survive unless we kill that damn bear. The damn bear? Oh, the bear lives in the dam. Well, that's funny because I just came from the dam and he wasn't there. Anyway, Jeremiah's awake. Yay! And I don't know how we knew his name. Must have been a name tag around here somewhere. But uh, let's have a chat with Jeremiah about how about... Uh, well, tell us about the bear because this is kind of interesting. What's the story with this bear? Story is real simple. 
that bear and me, we have unfinished business. Unfinished business? Yeah, you could call it a trade in kind. Every time we meet, we each leave with a little of the other's blood. Sounds like a losing proposition. I'm sure it will be, for one of us. Oh boy. How's your pain? How's your pain? <laughs> Everything hurts like heck, but I'll live. You want something stronger than painkillers? No, I, yeah I do, but I'll be okay. You seem pretty excited when I mentioned morphine. Morphine? Nah, that stuff's dangerous, especially old stuff. Addictive. Makes you feel like you're floating in a dream. Right. Tell me about the area, Jeremiah. Can you tell me more about the area around us, Jeremiah? <laughs> How do I know what Will's going to say every time? This whole area takes its name from Mystery Lake nearby. Not much here. Some old cabins here and there. Railway passes through. Campground around the lake's closed for the season. Mostly dead most of the year. You alone out here? Pretty much. Whole island's mostly abandoned now. Few scattered groups left. No real industry. Rare supply boat from the mainland. That's really the only lifeline for the few folks that still live on Great Bear. Sounds like a pretty quiet place. Just the way we like it. We? You're from the mainland. You wouldn't understand. Alright. More. Oh my gosh, there's more. Uh, tell me about the dam. Seems odd to have a dam in such a pristine piece of wilderness. Yeah, this place has always been ruined by greed. The dam looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Yeah, the big quake years ago shut that nonsense down. Quake? Dang, don't you know anything, Manglander? Er, guess I must have forgot. <laughs> Railroads, coal, logging, mining, hydro. Whole island's basically a perfect wilderness that's been slowly destroyed by industry over the past, oh, 100 years or so. Well, that's a kind of progress, right? People need jobs, need to find their families. Bah, it doesn't matter. Quake put an end to all that. All things are changing. What things? Haven't you noticed, since the light's in the sky, the world is quiet now. So you're all alone? Out here? Yeah, I keep to myself, hunt a bit, fish in the summer, keep my trap lines full. Once every couple of months, I head down to Rupert's Landing, trade for what I need. You have some way to call out of here? Like a radio? No. Who do I need to talk to? <laughs> don't like people much, do you, Jeremiah? I don't. I guess we're finished here, then. You see those lights in the sky a few nights ago? Yeah. I saw them. We see the northern lights this far up, but... I've never seen anything quite like that. I'm a bush pilot. Those lights took my plane down. Nearly died in the crash. Now I need to find my... I had a passenger with me. Dead? I sure hope not. We were on our way to Perseverance Mills. You know it? Shit, nothing town. A few hours north. Sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. You're the first person I've seen in months. I haven't seen your friend. The phone lines are down. Nothing electrical seems to be working. You think it has something to do with the flash of light? Uh, could be. Wildlife's been acting weird, too. Wolves, mostly. Hanging around more than usual. Like they're waiting. Waiting? For what? I don't know. But I have a bad feeling about it. Look. Maybe we can help each other. I don't know. I need to get out there and look for my friend. Well, I have an idea that might help you find who you're looking for. But with that bear out there, and me laid up in here, well... You're as good as dead. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you have in mind? Well... With that bear on the prowl, you'll never survive long enough to find your friend. And I can't do shit from in here. But I can guide you. You do what I say, and I'll keep you alive. 
And what's in it for you? Uh, we'll talk about that. But first, you need some protection. Yes. Protection. Have me my rifle. Ooh. Here it comes, the <sighs> rite of passage. Ah, oh, shit. What I was afraid of. That shot you took hurt the rifle more than the bear. My rifle's done. Shit. Sorry. You have a backup? No. No backup. But I know where you might be able to fix it. Great. Where? <laughs> Old railway yard. About a day's travel south. Along the tracks. There's a machine shop there. I used to trade for time on the tools to keep my gear in order. Bush pilot like you should be able to handle them. I'll see what I can do. Listen. Stay along the tracks. Keep your eyes open for the old bear. If you see him, hide and pray he doesn't pick up your scent. Don't get cocky. Or we'll both end up dead. Got it. Good luck, pilot. Maybe we'll make a survivor out of you yet. Achievement unlocked. The old trapper. We saved him. Yay! But his gun doesn't work. Boo! And now we have to face a man-killing bear. Boo. Okay. Well, I think what we're going to do is call it quits right here. Oh, chapter two. You fix my rifle? I'm working on it, Jeremiah. Just keep your uh, fuzzy boots on. All right, I have a lot to do here. We got to get rid of some of this loot that we're carrying around, get organized, and then we'll head out and uh, try to fix this rifle. So I think we're going to call it quits right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.